What's up everybody, this is Ben bringing you another mock spotlight where we take apart what you build. For today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at these two masterpieces created by Jaffa in collaboration with fellow builder Luigi1456 Andrew. And what we have here is their reimagination of the Borok Queens Kadok and Gadok of Bionicle. Now both of these builders have gotten their own mock spotlights in the past, but never before have we seen a big collaborative project like this, so I feel it definitely merits a spotlight. So allow me to begin picking apart what I like about these mocks so much. And we'll start with Kadok, built by Jaffa. Now Kadok has a very unique and distinct appearance, especially in comparison with the original Barag Queen models. Her color scheme is completely different, ditching all the dark gray and replacing it with black, as well as adding a bit of purple to the underside of the neck and the tail. And the design of the queen herself, from the proportions to the texture, create a much more organic and kind of bug-like twist on the Barag's design. She's given actual toes, better articulated limbs, elongated antenna, and this gross looking abdomen that looks to be dripping some sort of green ooze, which reminds me a lot of a xenomorph queen from Aliens. And if that was the intention or the inspiration, I dig it a lot, because it adds a lot to this overall really menacing presence that the new Barog have. And I think the really cool part about Kadok is that even though her design deviates so much from the original, I can still tell, especially when you put the models side by side, that they're supposed to be the same thing, just presented in two completely different styles. Now looking at Gadok, it's a bit of a similar story, but I do see many more similarities to the original model here in aspects such as the fins on the nose, there's a bit more bulk on the tail, and of course the original color scheme has basically been maintained, with the addition of teal for the underbelly and the underside of the tail. A very very welcome addition if I may add. And with these distinctions from Kadok, Gadok appears a lot more faithful to the original design. I'd probably be able to guess what this was quicker than I would with Kadok. With this one, I feel like I would go, oh, that's the Barug from Bionicle. And the other one, I'd probably be like, Oh, that kind of looks like a Barog from Bionicle. It must be. But anyway, some things I've noticed about Gadok's design is that we see a lot more Technic and Bionicle pieces that kind of give a bit of different texture compared to the other Barog, which I think does look nice. It does make it look more Bionicle, I suppose. And that's the main thing I really like about these mocks, is that they look so similar to get that message across that they're supposed to be the same species, but there are all these subtle differences that make them unique. Despite having such similar builds, the palette swaps, the textures, the facial features, Gadok has more spikes on the back of her neck and on her tail than Kadok does, and Kadok has more smooth textures and ribbed patterns than Gadok. All these little things, really well done. And of course, we can't have new Borok queens without seeing what the new Borok look like. And here they are, the little demonic looking things. And these look great. They fit the aesthetic of the new Barok perfectly. What with all the smooth textures, the spikiness, claws, teeth, bug-like characteristics. The only thing I can say though is that once you have them all together, Gadok sticks out like a sore thumb because of her color scheme. On her own, she looks amazing. But when you put her next to the other models, her color scheme throws off the consistency. A consistency that the models would probably have if it weren't for all these different colors. I'm not even sure what a good solution to this would be, because I like the Barog Queens just the way they are. I wouldn't want their colors to change too much, really. I mean, I suppose you could add a lot more black to Gadok to make her look a lot more uniform with the rest of the models, but when you look at that model just by herself, it doesn't really seem necessary, but it comes off just a little bit jarring once you put them all together. Together, but whatever it doesn't really make them bad or anything they they're all still great looking models but all in all there we have it we have these two apex predator looking Borok Queens built with the same idea by two completely different people I think that's an amazing feat in of itself and I would love to know the details of the process like who came up with what idea how did you guys decide on the colors or who built what because I think this is just an awesome project and I would love to see more people collaborate on mocks like this 
And after just staring at these models for so long, I would love to see what else you guys could build in this new style. Because for what this style is, you guys have nailed it. It truly looks amazing and captures that biomechanical aesthetic that a Bionicle mock should have. So congratulations to JFA, Luigi1456 Andrew for getting this done putting it out there and making it onto the mock spotlight again. And as for the rest of you viewers, I know a lot of you guys are t kind of tired of me spotlighting the same builders time to time. I promise you this is the only time it was intentional. I knew who JFA was, I knew who Luigi was, but look at these. Can you blame me? But no, I assure you guys that my process is very much random. In preparation for every mock spotlight, I browse the message boards LEGO creation section and I literally just pick out the first or second thing that I think looks interesting or cool in some sort of way. And if anything, I'm making it a point to double check the names of whoever posted the models so that way I'm not over featuring somebody on the spotlight. Sometimes they slip through the cracks, other times I just kind of don't care. But whatever, next spotlight, and hopefully every spotlight after will be featuring somebody completely brand new. Just keep posting your awesome LEGO mocks to the message boards at board.ttvchannel.com and I guarantee you as long as you put something out there that is just really creative and it clearly looks like a lot of thought and effort was put into it I guarantee you you're gonna see a mock spotlight of it at some point it's just a matter of when so until then I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time